Okay, we're going to have a look at this shading and tone exercise. And basically what we've got is a, a photograph here, or a picture of a, um, a cactus plant. And it says, use a 2B or HB pencil to copy the cactus into the big grid. Use the picture to help you to see which lines go into which box. Um, use the picture to see the la la light and dark areas of tone. So just, just for a warm up here, we move this round and we can um, start practicing shading our tone. Uh, have to add tone with shading. Obviously we can use a, a backwards and forwards and for these darker ones we can use a cross hatch. So that's one at 90 degrees and we can add an additional hatch at 45 degrees. Just going over that and getting the darker tone until that's matched up. This one is a slightly lighter tone. Remember to keep your pencil sharp here, um, rotating the pencil around and using it on the side as well. For I think the best thing is once you've gone over these is to just come back a bit look at what you've got see how they match up and then adjust the, sh the shades to get them correct okay so we can see here that what I've done is I've taken one square at a time on the grid so if we look at this square here and here I've added these lines so even finding the center points of these lines to add the detail of the petals of the cactus flower and then look at areas of shading. So if we look into, for example, this grid square here, here we've got an area of dark shading which is, is quite near the edge of the shade and, and kind of comes down here and there. So we, we can quite quickly add this shade. Um, and just sort of map out the areas you can use a rubber to clean things up and of course you can use your rubber to clean up this here when you finish with it um, but look look at each square so for example that square look at the lines the outlines of the shape add those outlines of the shape and then into the squares that are adjacent to them and then once you've got those you can start to add this shading detail in lighter and dark shades here we've got some shading detail so and then the idea is that square by square, matching from this square to this square, this square to this square, we, we build up the whole picture using the light, just the light and dark tones to match this picture here with this picture. Don't really get hung up on absolute detail of where each point is because what you'll find is as the picture builds up, you'll build up into a, 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 a whole view that although it might not be exactly right it'll have the right general and the idea really is to get the, the you know practice with the shading okay so shading and tone using a 2b or hb pencil and a eraser <laughs>